good afternoon now i would like to share with you uh, the topic like criteria for uh, selection of engineering materials so engineering material is one of the most important uh, uh, topic mainly in uh, mechanical engineering right so here the material selection mainly which is based on the uh, uh, like properties of the material properties of an engineering material so properties like uh, maybe a physical properties chemical properties mechanical properties and uh, sometimes it is also including electrical properties and another important parameter is reliability then cost cost is also another important parameter so particularly the depends upon the type of application and depends upon the usage of the material we have to select so once if you are going to select the material we should focus or we should concentrate what type of properties which is available in that materials like right? say for example if you take uh, like uh, steel or cast iron so mainly steel is a ductile material and cast iron is a brittle material in my application i wanted to do uh, like uh, any uh, uh, some structural application i want to select the steel material structural steel material so in that material i need to check or i need to focus on this uh, major parameters like properties so physical properties means suppose say for example if you take uh, like uh, structural steel material the physical properties we should see that what is the young's modulus of the material and what is the modulus of rigidity of the material then melting point and even sometimes we should check the strength and stiffness of the material and if we take the mechanical properties the most important properties like yield strength of the material for ductile material and ultimate strength of the material for the brittle material so that we have to select depends upon the application and how much of the carbon content which is available in that material right so generally we have uh, two classifications one is like a ferrous metal and non ferrous metal uh, so the ferrous metal which is having uh, steel and cast iron and uh, other corresponding materials and the non ferrous metal there are so many alloy metals which is in incorporated with some other material with some percentages right so uh, depends upon the application mean wherever we required like a ductile material we should focus on the ductile material properties and particularly in physical and mechanical properties sometimes if you go for alloy metals then we need to check or we need to uh, consider for the what are the chemical compositions which is available in that particular material say like uh, the percentage of carbon content percentage of magnesium or percentage of silicon all those things because uh, if uh, these materials which is comes under uh, like alloy categories alloy metals right so in that alloy metal also we have the strength and stiffness values and apart from this uh, after getting the material also the brunel hardness test or uh, the rockwool hardness test va values also there so we have to check with those uh, parameters particularly in these properties then we have to select the material with respect to your application if you want to go with uh, the heavy vehicle or uh, heavy uh, structural applications then we should uh, we need to uh, select for the materials like ductile materials suppose say for example when we are uh, uh, like load which is acting on in the compressive aspect which mean that the compressive load where which is acting more so those places instead of uh, ductile material we can choose with the brittle material so brittle material may be uh, uh, like uh, the final i mean the net strength should be ultimate uh, tensile strength so that only we should taking care of uh, the mechanical properties right so if you want to calculate the factor of safety for those those materials whether it is withstanding or not for this particular material or i need to replace the material so then we can calculate the yield stress of the material is divided by working stress of the material then if you get above the factor of safety one then the design should be safe if it is below that then we need to do the modification on the pro on that particular structural uh, materials right and uh, another important is the availability of the material see in in our market there are many 
engineering materials are available aluminium cast iron and steel steel with carbon percentage different uh, varying carbon percentages all those things right so first we have to select or we have to choose the application where we are going to use the material and functionality so the functionality perspective it should be very clear about that and usage correct then availability of the material in the market and uh, easy for easy uh, like uh, 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 like handling of the material that is also another important material uh, property then one more important is heat treatment suppose say for example if you take a furnace so the furnace is a heat uh, uh, handling uh, particular location right so if you want to select the material for the furnace what we have to do is that particular material should be in withstanding more uh, like a temperature distribution on that particular structural material it should be withstanding on that if it goes uh, like uh, the melting point should be above this that particular temperature what will happen the the furnace material will be going to fail so to avoid or to minimize that particular uh, failure of the material initial st initial time itself we should select the material should be perfect and yield strength of the material or ultimate strength of the material should be high so this is a way uh, there are many parameters are there particularly these are all the properties are much more important while we are going to select the engineering materials thank you